Welcome back to part two of decorating our vintage store. This is Phoebe. She's my new full-time assistant. She got us copies of the keys. And our first meeting today is with this lovely couple who makes custom woodwork. So the layout of the space is a little complicated because there are these two massive columns. So we decided that we're going to make a custom oval counter that wraps around the columns. It's definitely going to be very different, but the cool thing is that it's going to be the center of the entire store. So you can kind of like check out on either side. Then we drove an hour away to meet up with a custom welder and he completely ditched us. Like he just left and didn't even wait for us. So we did some research and we found this amazing human his name's Enzo. He came in the next morning and he does custom metal work. So we just sat there and explained all of our ideas and he just explained the whole process to us and he loved our ideas and he said he's going to make all of this come to life. So I'm very excited about that. Next up, we had a little team meeting to decide on the final aesthetic of the store. So we chose all the wallpapers and what's going inside the fitting rooms. There were so many good wallpaper options, but I also wanted to use my own wallpaper. So we decided on this and we're doing green and blue for the custom counter. Then I proceeded to try to teach Phoebe how to measure a ceiling without the tape falling on you and I thought we had it, but then she put her head on the wall. 